This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Frost9061. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, top of the Monday morn, y'all. It's been a hot minute. It's been seven whole days since our last review of the fish tanks of the world, actually. Something about Hong Kong, Germany, and the Netherlands. Lots of five out of fives from there. That's right, Millie. Millie, are you in the mood? To review some fish tanks. What's up, Cory Yang Fish Fam? I have a question for you. This is very, very urgency question. By 2023, have you changed your water yet in 2023? Go. See you in the comments below. Without further ado, fish tank review. Did I forget how to fish tank review? <laughs> this office has a huge aquarium running through it. I don't know if you guys watched The Office before or not. This is probably my favorite show of all time. I've watched it four times, going on to my fifth time. There's some crazy people who've watched it like 12 times. I don't understand you guys. <laughs> we are not the same. I have anime to watch, bros. That looks like Pam. Looks like um Walmart Pam. That looks like Walmart Oscar. This is like if The Office was like a fish tank spinoff. But seriously, that looks like a huge aquarium. How did they make that? That must have cost a fortune. I wonder if this is Photoshop. Can someone confirm the photoshopping and why would you do this the person who is the boss here must be a huge fan of aquariums or something i've never seen anything like this before it's like the great wall of the aquarium north korea south korea this is the dmc baby <laughs> if this is real and i do have my doubts because man that that's just really like overkill oh i didn't even see there's another set of this long ass fish tank on the other table and i'm assuming on the left side as well then so this office has more than one of these bad boys how is that even possible Possible. Who designed something like this? This must be at least 5,000 gallons all-inclusive. We don't see the end to it. I don't know if I see the live plants because the lighting is just basically the ambient lighting from the office lights. I don't know if that's good enough. It's probably good enough to grow some Java Fern or Anubias, but after that, I'm not sure. It could be just stocked with cichlids. Like Lake Malawi cichlids, that means there shouldn't really be any plants anyways because they'll just demolish everything. Where do I send my resume? I'm not sure if you want to work here because I don't know how well that tank is maintained. Maybe there's koi fish stocked in there, overstocked. I don't know. Maybe it smells bad, but I will say it's definitely a much more interesting experience than just working at a cubicle, just looking at a little wall for the whole duration of your life. I will say that. There's a lot of potential here. Imagine there's just a single bed of swimming around the tank, visiting everyone while they are working. His name? Supervisor. But the maintenance on this thing must be hell. Even if you don't do any water changes, you're gonna have to fill up this sucker. That's a lot of water to fill back up. Welcome to the office. This is where you be working, John. John Krakinski. It might be more distracting for the workers there. I would be totally distracted. I already look at my own fish tanks and I can look at it for like two to three hours on end. It must look so dull in the tank with only ambient light. That's true. If it's a darker tank, it won't look as good. But imagine just like bottom dwellers. So Odo Sinkless catfish or Corridors or Cooley loaches. Yo-yo loaches. That would be insane. Some glass cats. If it's like a darker like cave theme, that would be straight out of heaven. Five out of five. No questions asked. But I think even though it looks a little dark on camera if it's in real life it'll still probably look very interesting i can smell this picture yeah like i was kind of afraid of if it's not maintained well that thing is gonna smell like hell if there's no water movement if there's no live plants doing any sort of filtering you're gonna be thankful for covid normalizing masks in indoor spaces because you're gonna be wanting to wear a mask i'm gonna do a four out of five it's a more conservative more safe guess here if someone if anyone has any more info about this tank please let me know i'm very interested. Is this real and what's stocked in it? Guys, quick pause. Thank you for the sponsors of this episode. You guys for smashing that like button. Thank you so much. If you want to support me a bit further, as always, check me out on Patreon. A few dollars from you goes a long way for this channel through the power of crowdfunding. And you get a lot of perks in return, like joining the 2000 plus member fishkeeping discord. Thank you guys for your support. Crayon here sent in this tank. I think there is a bed of fish in it. That probably is the red bed of fish. This is a pretty basic tank. I see you have the bed of leaf. The glass is kept pretty pristine. You got the heater, you got a hand back filter, sand substrate, some live plants here or there. A nice start to it. I think this is good husbandry, pretty average, pretty good. But the scape does need some work. It does need some filling out. More hardscape would really help. For now, a three out of five. Keep it up. Bladder snail dressed up as a hedgehog. Wow. I can't say that. I've seen that before. Yeah, I've never seen a snail with that much algae or algae at all. And I have a lot of snails. How come this snail had algae grow on its shell? Is it sick? Maybe it's just really old. 
That's so cool. It's just like a slowly moving piece of algae that's mobile. It's almost like the sea anemone in the ocean equivalent. This is the fastest moving algae by far. This algae is the meaning of haste. Five out of five costume. Definitely ready for next year's Halloween. This fish room is sent in by Stecco. And wow, is it a beautiful, calming, soothing fish room. I just know I can spend like whole days in here just drinking some coffee, reading a book, and watching the tanks. It's a very healing experience. The tanks do look pretty aquascaped. You do have a terrarium, I believe. It is a more vertical terrarium. So maybe you have some sort of climbing lizard, perhaps a crested gecko, some gerariums here and there, some nano tanks, both water and land plants. Beautiful fish room deserving of a five out of five. Fish room edition. My red roof floater just started flowering. Holy crap. I have never seen or even known that red root floaters could flower. That is insane. It looks like a Robert's geranium, but no, it's a red root floater flower. How did you get it to flower? This is also a really cool picture. That's incredible. Five out of five flower. I'm getting chills because it's always really cool to see plants flowering and I never seen a floater flower until now. What is this? Holy, holy son of a, what is that? Looks like it's straight up from Zelda, ready to kill you in two hits. Oh, bro, I've I've never seen that in my entire life. If I saw that, I would probably throw the fish tank out the window. Oh my goodness. Is that like a dragonfly thing? Like, that thing looks like is a beast. It looks like a whole tank. It looks like it could murder you in two swipes. It looks like you won't even do any damage with your fireball jutsu. It's got a shield, but also looks menacing. Apparently in the comments, it said it's a dragonfly larvae. And so most of the other uh, creepy little crawlies you see in the tanks are actually uh, damselfly larvae, which are not as big or violent or scary AF looking. This looks like nightmare fuel to the max, my bro. Get that thing out of there, but don't use your hands because you you want to live till tomorrow, right? I'm assuming. Man, be careful out there, homies. That, whew, that, I'm just saying, I really hope I don't have to experience this. Like one day I wake up, I check my fish tank and I see that, your boy is gone, bro. If I miss an FTR upload, now you will know exactly what happened to me. Zero out of five, Touch of Serenity sent in their fish tank. This looks like a wildly grown sort of thing. They're just letting it grow, letting it do its thing. The Lugwigia, the hair grass. Now we got some guppies, we got some endlers, a mono shrimp. Oh, and an interesting sort of note here. It just recently got out of a top toxic relationship that wouldn't let them escape this tank and would yell at them for trying to escape this tank. I am so happy that you got out of that relationship. What even is that? I'm assuming this is your tank because you're out of the relationship and you still have it. So if it was your tank, why couldn't you escape it the way you want? This looks beautiful and is only going to look better over time. I'm so glad you get to work on it because you definitely have some sort of aquascaping gift and talent here that was totally wasted by your partner before. I've never heard of that before. How do you get someone so controlling and dumb that they won't even let you touch your own tank to escape it the way you want to? That is the biggest red flag if I've ever seen red flags before. And I have, I grew up in China. Guess what the color of the Chinese flag is? Red. Probably, actually that's the biggest red flag. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, social credit minus 5 billion. Alrighty, now here's another reason that you will know what happened to me if I ever miss an upload. But damn, you're doing everything right and I am once again so happy that you got out of that toxic relationship so you can stop wasting your life and start living it. Here's a reminder for all of you, this is your sign to get out of that toxic relationship you've been thinking of getting out of. Like a wise man once said, I can't remember which wise man it is, maybe it's moi, who knows. You think I'm wise, Millie? <laughs> the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the second best time is now. That applies to your toxic relationships, folks. Just because you wasted maybe three, five, ten years on this pleb doesn't mean you have to waste another second. Do it now. People who got broken up with just now, please don't come after my ass. This is the third reason why I might not be able to upload FTR next week. For now, it's a 4.4 out of 5. Keep it up. Happy Thanksgiving. My roommate's drunk friend defecated in my fish tank. <laughs> Thought it'd be funny. Any advice? Okay, so I'm gonna choose to keep this... Uh, thing blurred up. You can search it up on Reddit if you so wish. I don't know why you would. I wish I didn't see this. However, it wasn't that graphic. It was, well, it was poop in a tank. What can I tell you? And dissolved poop. So things are going rancid in there. I'm sure it doesn't smell great. No amount of plants, even floaters, will be able to suck up all those nutrients and <laughs> get rid of that smell. Let me tell you, right? Gonna save you guys the NSFW. That's enough 
internet for today thing. Trust me, you don't want to see it. What is wrong with people? How do you get so drunk you defecate in a fish tank and think that is a good idea? Any advice? My advice would be to throw the fish tank into space and start over. That's that's it. Don't try anything. Don't do anything additional with it. Just, wait, how do you even throw something like that away though? Can you imagine like trying to siphon that and you're using the sucking technique? <laughs> An accident. Okay, okay, I'm next. Please, if you can hear my voice, it's no use. He's in a deep coma. Let's sell his fish. Wakes up. Pro tip never do this to a fish keeper if you find them, unfortunately, in a coma. Why are there so many fish keepers in a coma? I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't do this because chances are they're not gonna wake up and they're gonna continue to panic even though they can't move or talk or wake up. That would be a true nightmare. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uncle Roger, say don't do it. Jesse is young, sent in this fish tank six months old fish tank. It's a species tank of Romino's Tetra with a centerpiece honey gourami. Can't get more classic than that. Judging by the size of the Romino's, I would say maybe 20 gallons, 25 gallons. Oh, there's a Carno Tetra in there as well. It's a background scape, kept the center pretty clean. Lots of live plants, very interesting wood. Filled out this tank perfectly. The water is pristine. Floaters up top, 4.8 out of 5. Keep up the great work. And that clean backdrop. Went to Petco today and this was the clearance section for $37. When I got to check it out, it rank up as one dollar talk about jackpot man you can't get nothing for one dollar these days you know those hubba bubba gums that were like 25 cents now they're like a dollar 25 cents what the heck millie what's that on your head why do you have a fluffy feather on your head sheesh man i thought birds were supposed to be good at grooming themselves what's wrong with you so aqua sky fluval definitely like pretty high up there in price i would say even the 37 dollars is a good deal but to get it for one dollar what just happened man i rarely buy fluval lights because they're so darn expensive and here you are getting one dollar <laughs> some people have all the luck millie why can't we have that kind of luck get me this aqua sky millie or i will disown you <laughs> crafty instant 3d printed tabletop aquarium wow it's it's finally happening. We're printing aquariums now. Is it a plastic aquarium? Whatever the case, too small. Let's not print aquariums this small until we can print a big one. A big enough one for two guppies to have. A space to swim. Fish rice integration is exciting. You harvest both fishes and rice on the same land. Do you like it? Do I like it? That is looking horrible. <laughs> Somehow you've managed to overstock a pond so hard that there's no swimming space in a pond. Yeah, that's right. I agree with this emoji. It is efficient, but this this is overkill. You know, you have byproduct, right? If you're trying to grow some rice and if the water's fertilized, that's great. What can you use to fertilize it? Fish. And if you can grow the fish, you can harvest the fish too and eat it. So two in one, perfect idea. But this is overrun. And that's why that's a zero out of five. No, we do not like it. Do better. Fish tank and deep fryer. Man, what in the F happened? We got Mountain Dew tank. We got defecation tank. <laughs> yeah, still can't get over that right now. And now the new addition, never before seen on FDR, fish tank and deep fryer tank, the legendary deep fryer tank finally making its first appearance on episode 186. What in the world happened? Is this just a lot of fish food or is corn? Is this sawdust? Why? Sawdust in the aquarium. Probably not Gucci. Just my two cents. Who knows? I'm not an expert in sawdust. Uh, you're coming home with me and getting a nicer setup. Let's go! Fish Rescue 101. Beta fish jar we marbles and stuff. Hell yeah, we marbles and stuff, bro. Vibes. Straight vibing. Rehoming. Five dollars. I just hate people who charge for this stuff. Like, are you serious? Welcome to the end of this episode. Thank you for staying all the way till the end, boosting that algorithm, supporting this channel. Millie and I hope your week started off just right. Isn't that right, Millie? Okay. Katua. This week's question of the week. What is your favorite fish? Probably the most generic question of all time, but let's narrow it down. The first fish you think of when I say what is your favorite fish. Type that in, no cheating. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Carisiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live famsas, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without furt, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.